Hello everybody, my name's Bill and I know stuff. One of the things I know is that I love it when I find a free resource that helps me make better videos. In this case, it's canva.com. And no, I'm not getting paid to endorse them, but I do use their free resources to make animations, lower thirds, and graphics for my videos. Matter of fact, all the graphics you'll see in this video were made on canva.com. It's not my only resource, but it's very easy to use for somebody that's new to the process. There's not a lot to set up, doesn't cost you any money at all, and it's easy. I'm going to walk you through this process of creating an animated lower third, and when you do that, you'll be able to see how easy Canva is to use, and you'll be able to make your own graphics from there. Let's get started. Creating a lower third with Canva is really simple. All you need to do is go to the canva.com website and either create an account or log in. You can log in with Google. I think you can log in with Facebook as well. They have a free version and a paid version, and the free version works just fine. That is what I'm using right here. And you can do quite a bit with Canva, but all we're going to concentrate on is basically creating a lower third. But when we do that, you'll be able to see there's a lot of other things that you can apply your creativity to and pull into your videos. To start with, just click where it says Create Design and click Video. It defaults to 1920 by 1080, which is what you want. It pulls up. This is the canvas you're going to be working on right here. This is the length of the lower third. You can make it longer just by clicking on here and dragging this a little bit longer or a little bit shorter. We'll leave it at five for now. You can also grab down here and move this, which will lengthen it. So it's a very visual thing, it's, and it's easy to work with. They have different templates. You can always explore those, but we're just going to stick with the lower third. And before we do that, before I start doing elements, we're going to go to uploads and I want to upload an image. All right. And I already have one that I've already created. This is not something you'll have, but I want to use this for a specific reason because it will see the colors of this. And when I pull it in and it'll be able to use it. So let's go ahead and we know we're using that image. I'm going to pull it in. I'll size it down a little bit. This may, not the final form, but it's there. And let's go ahead and go to elements. And I'm just going to pick shapes. It's very simple, but there's a lot more to it. I'm going to grab one with a border, which will be this guy right here. And I want to change the color. To do that, when, you, when it's selected, you can just click up here. And I'm not going to use either one of those blues. I'm going to go with the lighter blue right there. But I do want to use the same blue that I'm using in my photo, which is this one here for the outline. So I'll click there take the outline color. Now I'm going to turn it into a little banner type ad, I guess. And I'm not worried about getting it absolutely precise. It's easy to move all this stuff around. Let's go ahead and add some text. And we'll go and grab a heading. And I'll just throw it on there for now. And let's call it Bill Knows Stuff. That seems apropos, and we'll do that. And you can change the fonts over here. They have a lot of, there's a huge number of fonts. I've got one I've been playing with that I like, that one there. And I'm going to use a, the color that I already have. So right up here, let's take that color. I'm going to use the same blue that I have here. I like that. You can drag it, put it down here. It's a little, it's a little big. So let's size it down just, just a bit, like that. I'm going to add some more text. Let's add a subheading. You just drag it over there. Type what you want. Mm -hmm. I know. I don't want to make this too long, but we'll do that. 
Oops, I must have got two on there. Go ahead and get that. And I'm going to use the same font that I was using there. You, it does not have to be. And I'm going to change the color. I'm going to go with the red, I think. Yeah, I want it to stand out a little bit. Let's go ahead and drag it down. We'll make it a little bit smaller. Oh, I like that so far. Let me grab this whole thing, slide it over, because I want it down close to the bottom. I grab this guy. I want to put him right in there. And if you right click it, bring bring forward, because I want him up and front up on the front, so not getting in the way. And that is a lower third. This is not animated yet, but we can click up here on the button to animate. They have a bunch of different ones that will affect everything on the page, or you can animate these individually. We're just going to take the page, but that's a basic one right there. If you select that and click the button, you'll see what happens. One thing I learned the hard way is if you want it to go in reverse at the end, you need to add another page. So let's go ahead and do that, and we're not even going to put anything on it. And we're going to make it super short. And then if we play it, watch what happens. Gets at the end, slides right on out. That's exactly what we need. And you can play with these. You get different effects with the ones. The ones with a little crown, those are the paid ones. I like tumble here. That's a very interesting effect. So we're going to stick to that one. Now, the last thing we need to do is because we're going to have to use a chroma key in Shotcut or DaVinci or Adobe, whatever you're using, we need to change this background color here and have it set, set, set. So click there and let's go with a green. If you have green in your icon, things like that, you may have to pick another color that you do not have, but I don't have any green. I'm going to put it on the second page as well. And we'll take a quick look at it. There we go. I like it. Now I'm going to go ahead and download it. It'll suggest MP MP4 video. Go ahead and go with that. Click download. It'll take just a minute. Now we're going to jump over to Shotcut. And we will open open up a file. I'm going to go ahead and open up a background file because you need two. Drag that down at the timeline. Add another video track. Open up. I'm going to drag in. There we go. We'll put this right here. Now, if you look at it, it's green. We've got one last step that we need to do to make this work. So click on the clip, click on filters, add, go to video, and we're going to find chroma key simple. Now, you see that green that, that comes up by default is a little bit different from there. Let's click the little eyedropper and... Put it over here on the color. It'll change color. And you notice it's now transparent. That green becomes transparent. And let's look and see what happens. All right. I like that. It's uh, nice. It's good looking. And you can do anything you want with this. You can create a whole bunch of little animations popping in. The sky's the limit. So let your creativity go and have some fun with this. All right, I've shown you how to do an animated lower third, and that's what I said you needed. You have all the tools you need to make any graphics you want. But as a bonus, let's go in and create a subscribe, animated subscribe that anybody can throw in there together.
All right, let's go in elements and uh, you can, they actually have them. If you go into graphics, see all, they have some free ones in there. Let's go up there, subscribe, hit it. It'll do a search. Any of the ones that don't have the little crown next to them are free. So you can grab those look kind of cool. I'm going to get this one, this red one right there. Let's make it small. I just want a, a little one. I'll put it in here. And it's on a nine second loop, looks like. I want this whole thing to be a little shorter. We're going to go down. We'll do five seconds. And I like it when there's something pointing to it. So let's see. Oh, see, they have recommendations and stuff you can get. But let's see if we can get a, uh, oh, let's go for an arrow. There we go. We're looking for an animated arrow that might point to it. Oh, I like this one. Let's grab that. Throw it in there. Ooh, obviously, you need to size it down. It's looking good. I like that. It's a little hard to see where it's at right now. Let's go ahead and add the background. Remember, we're going to go for the green um, so we can have that chroma key. I like that effect right there. I think we've got what we need. Let's go ahead and you can save it or just download it. We'll just go ahead and download it. All right, it's downloaded. Let's go ahead and open up our shortcut or whatever video editing program. We'll go ahead and open the file. We need to browse the downloads. We call this untitled. We'll open that up. That's it right there. Let's drag it down. We'll throw it in. And remember, we need to add the chroma key video. Chroma key simple. A little dropper. Change the color. There we go. And let's take a quick look and see how this whole thing runs together. There's the animated lower third we made. And technically, I think the subscribe and counts as a, a lower third as well because it's in the bottom of the screen. But you can put it wherever you want. I think that looks good. And for instance, if you wanted them on the page at the same time, this is more of a shortcut thing than a... Uh, you can actually take it. And we could lay them over on top of each other. So they're not, they're, 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 they're staggered just a little bit. Let's take a look at that. Oh, see, that's spiffy and takes no work at all. But actually, I'm going to keep it like that. I am, however, going to move these over because the last thing we're going to do is we're going to create an animated title for your video that you can use for your video. Let's go ahead and go back. We're going to go to home. We're going to create another video. And this one you want to work with whatever you have. I'm just going to go ahead and do some text for right now and get it on there. And we'll go ahead and add a heading. Let's go ahead and make this. I'm going to use that whole thing right there. Let's change the color. Let's pick something. I like the purple. Uh, the video might be a little dark. Let's go with yellow for right now. That should be easy, easy enough to see. And go ahead and do the background. We're going to go with green again because we need that to work. All right, let's grab this. Let's put this up at the top. Let's go ahead and animate it. We can animate the whole page or we can an animate just this. Let's just go ahead and animate that. Um... Ooh, kind of like that. Let's try that. I like the block. Let's see how that goes. All right. Animated title for the video. We've got that. Let's go ahead and call that good. Let's download that one. Go ahead, we'll open it up again. Spiffy, see? And because I call it, oh, it took, took the name right. I did not realize it would do that. Let's go ahead and drag this down and we'll put it on that first layer there. 
And same thing, we got to do the chroma key to eliminate that uh, green and get the transparent going. Oops. I made a mistake. Let's grab that. There we go. And let's do it. All right. Spiffy title for my video. You now have all the elements you need. It's, like I said, super simple with Canva. There's uh, other apps that I use take a lot more work. Uh, design, and I think you'll find you know, with a little practice, you can get almost anything you want to happen here. Okay. If you have questions, please feel free to hit me up in the comments or on Discord. I'll be happy to answer, answer questions if I can. Y'all be good. Take care now.